So let us say some more applications like uh, halogenation of alkanes when you say. As we have seen uh, when alkanes are uh, treated with halogens like chlorine in presence of UV light, it first gives the R dot not the final product as such is not it, first C L 2 breaks up into dot. So, this gives the first C L dot and that C L dot attacks and the H C L is formed by product form first R becomes into R dot. Then this will be turning into the product R C L. Okay. So, in the halogenation we find it is intermediate free radical, even the free radical as I said it shows hyper conjugation. Now, the a compound like for example, if you take a isobutane, it has a 3 hydrogens, 3 hydrogens, 3 hydrogens. These 9 hydrogens are identical. Any one of the hydrogen, if you can halogenate it, you will get the same product that is isobutyl chloride. Isobutyl chloride. If the hydrogen which is there in the center, if this is halogenated, you will get a, a another product that is second type of the product that is tertiary butyl chloride, tertiary butyl chloride. So, two different on, only two answers, any one of these nine will give one answer, the middle hydrogen will get that. So, how many answers means how many types of hydrogen therefore, we are answering. And out of this which is more stable means already we have seen with reference to the free radical stability. So, in the first case the free radical will be the 1 degree right this is the 1 degree 1 whereas, uh, in the second case uh, the free radical for this one is uh, 3 degree. So, this is 1 time stabilized that is 3 times stabilized and therefore, this is the major 1. So, this identification of major 1 through inductive effect because it has 1 plus i effect here 3 plus i effects are there. So, therefore, this is major 1 hyperconjugation not necessary based on the inductive effect one can decide how that is the major 1 because it is 3 degree 1. So, 3 degree free radicals are more stable than the 1 degree therefore, major i 1 identification does not require any hyperconjugation help with the inductive effect itself. But what is the expected ratio? In fact, if you see the probability type 9 uh, hydrogens will give this 1 hydrogen that means uh, in one way uh, based on the, the probability you will get the 9 is to 1 ratio because 9 any 1 you get this one only the middle one you will get. So, 9 is to 1, but the probability will not be the criteria here stability will be the criteria based on stability also if you apply inductive effect this is 1 degree that is 3 degree you may go for the 1 is to 3. None of them is correct this is totally wrong because major product is that one. Some extent it is right 1 is to 3 that means 25, 75, but what is the actual product when you compare means uh, actually the, the 1 degree free radical has uh, only one hyper conjugable hydrogen this is the only one hyper conjugable product. Whereas, this one has a 3 plus 3 plus 3. So, 9 hyper conjugable hydrogens are there. So, some extent this is correct, but almost it is 1 is to 9 based on the hyper conjugation we guess it and many times the ratio also the with reference to the hyper conjugable the hydrogens uh, coincides. So, the, the expected product especially not in the chlorination, but in the bromination it more or less it is coincides with the expected ratio because bromination is the more deciding uh, slowly reacts and the most stable will be chosen. This is also asked one in IIT examination the photobromination of isobutane is going to give 9 is to 1 or 1 is to 9 like that the question answer is 1 is to 9 tertiary butyl chloride comes uh, 9 times over the 1 butane that is here the intermediates are going to decide the stability ratio with reference to the number of hyperconjugable hydrogens.